Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Back Classic Game Room on Patreon! Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcast from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. What this game lacks in music, it makes up for with exclamation points. It's Happy Bird! Exclamation point on... The Magnavox Odyssey 2, obviously a clone of the hot mobile game Flappy Bird. But Flappy Bird was miserable. Happy Bird is happy because he's on the Odyssey 2, one of my favorite old school game systems. This is a 2014 release, a homebrew. And you don't hear much about the Odyssey 2 homebrew scene. Back in the day, in the late 70s, early 80s, the Atari 2600 and Intellivision competed against the Magnavox Odyssey 2, which was billed as being a more powerful game system because it had a built-in keyboard and all kinds of cool typing games. But despite its cool appearance and game cartridges with handles and its built-in keyboard, the Odyssey 2 trailed the 2600 and in television sales, and was eventually discontinued a couple of years later. So it's no surprise there's way more Atari 2600 and in television homebrews than Odyssey 2 homebrews, but I gotta be honest, th this one is kinda cool. I mean, it's just Flappy Bird. But Flappy Bird, like many popular mobile games, is no more complicated than a game from the late 1970s. And that, that makes it kinda cool. Especially when I'm playing it on the Magnavox Odyssey 2. It's really simple. You just push the button and flap and fly through the pipes. I'm filled with sorrow about the sad irony that arcades are now filled with ticket redemption versions of mobile games. It's, it's just, it's awful. But, you know, who doesn't love to pay 25 bucks for a small bag of Skittles? Anyway, I've played the Flappy Bird arcade game several times, the one that dispenses tickets depending on how well you do, and I have won that a couple times, or at least gotten the high score. That's what I mean by winning. I don't think that game has an ending. And by winning, I mean I paid like 50 bucks to win a bunch of stupid tickets. So, really the game won me. Anyway, one low, low price will give you all that fun on your Odyssey 2. Provided your button, your fire button on your Odyssey 2 controller is in good shape, that, that's all you need. You just push the button and flap and fly through the pipes. That's why he's so happy. In, in fact, he probably doesn't even flap for legal reasons. He's elevated by his happiness alone. His, his high spirits lift him into the air and through the pipes. And you flap, I'm sorry, you, you repeatedly bat your wings, batty bird, you bat your wings with the fire button. And there's, there's definitely some skill to this because you have to come at these pipes from an angle and sort of drop into them, but then flap once, keeping your, your wings lower. Try not to hit the top one, that's easy to do. Apparently, according to the back of the box, this one also works on... This game also works on the G7400 computer, which has better background graphics. There's a little... I'm looking at the picture, there's a little city back there. I don't think I've ever even seen a G7400. Sounds... sounds intimidating. And 400 less than the Atari 7800. Anyway, if you love Flappy Bird and the Odyssey 2, this is the game for you. It's kind of neat, not one I would highly recommend, but definitely quirky. And I love homebrews for old school game systems like this. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo Volcano! Volcano. Starting with Andy and Abby Schleiss. <laughs> Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> 
Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Chip Sink Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>